Hey, it's me, Sarah, from Redbird Vintage Box. Karen, Karen has quit. She doesn't want to work at Redbird anymore. I quit! She's getting her coffee. Uh, Can you get through? Oh, God. Can you do it? My COVID-25. Wait, what? You know how they say, like, freshman 15? Oh. God, yeah. Like, COVID-25? I don't know. 50. COVID-50? I just don't step on that. <laughs> <sighs> One okay. day you'll break something on camera. Okay, so we are doing two videos we decided because we got super chatty in the last one um and so this is the clothing request video for december 2020 um there is a lot to request and i did just remember that i need to go and grab this stuff from sydney which i'll do at the oh, end yeah. um this is a lot of stuff I yeah i pulled um well, let's get let's you get know started. okay so we're just gonna get started um, to request an item, you take a screenshot and then also look on Instagram, look in the accessory request video, screenshot everything, send it all to us in one email. Um, and, um, with your full name requests. Um, so, you know, Karen Bray, December requests. And then if you want to be charged now, put that at the very front. So charge now, Karen Bray, December requests or Karen Bray, charge now, December requests. And make sure that that's all that's in there. Cause otherwise you might not see it um request or not first come first serve um we divvy them up as fairly as possible um and they're not guaranteed you might you might get all of your requests you might get none it just kind of depends on what everyone else is requesting mm -hmm. and what we have for you that month sometimes you girls request things but we already like have your box kind of figured out and um yeah guys there's so much fun stuff in here i encourage you as every month to have some fun if you can and take some risks because that's what vintage is all about like me in this 80s sequin sweater. It's my favorite. It's not a risk. It's really cute. Oh. It's not a risk. might be some, some people might say that it's risky. Some people might. Um, I look huge compared to you. No, you don't. I told you. I I literally no, look, chose I'm talking this about like dress. also height. Well, you are you're also wearing shoes and I'm not. I am I'm about an inch and a half taller than Sarah. No, I, I used to be taller and then I started shrinking. Just like mom. No. All right, let's get started. Okay, so, cause like some of these were, so we have this lovely little eighties, early nineties number. This is a shift dress polka dots. And this one is modern, kind of a pencil dress birds i'll be showing you skirt skies um and you know we may save the sizes and whatnot but um we have your measurements but we have your so measurements you so if you love it then just still still send it because this is um black and white polka dot with pleats purple pleated elastic waist we got some room there and then Cowboy Western. So we showed this one last month and nobody bit. I think I might keep it. If yeah. I just, if Ooh. nobody else requests it, I just think it's so Like fun. a blue jean top and you, you know, you tie it. I mean, I feel like it's a little too Western. I was thinking just like a t-shirt and like booties. Oh man, no, I'm going all out. I'm wearing it with no. boots. Whenever we visit Texas. Okay. Oh, I miss Texas. I know me too. Both Sarah and I went to Texas Tech, guys. And we do have a subscriber that lives in Lubbock, which is so cool. Because like these, these are the ones that I was talking about in the other video that, you know, we've shown that we've had for a while mm -hmm. because we got them kind of in the summer and we weren't able to find homes for them. And we, we might just keep them until next summer, but I just think it's nice to purge. Um, this is bright orange pockets in the front. And like a um, palm blue with orange. Um, the slate gray pleated longer skirt. And this and one is green. a very small, it's like a 24 
for 25 inch waist. We've shown this before and a lot of people requested it. Um, but the waist size is, it's Very really, small. really tiny. It's a little jumper. This is more of a modern polka dot bit and flare. It comes with the belt. I, when I see this, I think of like a house dress, like one of those like towel wrap things, but it is cotton, so, but it's, it's cute. Mm -hmm. And I love this one, and mm -hmm. it's kind of almost hard to see, but it's like a drop waist. And... Just really flattering, this yeah. cut, this halter with the and collar. And jumper. Nice. I already showed this jumper, I did. Long white with buttons down the front. Just even some like a green skirt just like that. Oh, green, yeah. Um, this is a corduroy floral. I believe we showed this one last month. I could be wrong. It's like you know, you just see it and very abstract cotton, longer skirt, and then this brown with the white trim and um and something that you know we we've said before and we definitely start we said when we first started everything was that you know what we're showing this encompasses like Ooh, i don't know i mean i think it's like 10 percent of our actual inventory and things are always coming in um that's, and, a, that's a modern asos yeah, I, I believe i love it though yeah um well yeah just um and just i know um I think, I think a lot of times people will, you know, they'll want, you know, the forties and the fifties and some sixties and stuff like that. If, if we ever get in something like a wool, you know, fit and flare skirt from the forties, you're, you're not going to see that on the request video. If we get in a fifties dress, it's in like mint condition and it's like a solid dark maroon, like like things that um, are highly requested, we will not show on the videos because um, we already know that everybody wants it. Um, so that is just something to to keep in mind that um, you know what we show isn't necessarily everything that that we have, mm -hmm. and we will definitely not show the items that are the highly super requested items. You know, if we get in a camphor necklace, we're not gonna put that up for request. That would be silly. Um, yes, because, you know. Many of you have it. And this is a longer, longer skirt. Those purses that were in the um, accessory video are not normally purses that we would put up for request because we we know everybody, everybody wants those basket purses. Um, but because purses are you know, kind of sparse right now for us. I just felt like you should just see them. And they are, they are, you know, they're big. So um, it is nice to know that it's going to somebody who mm -hmm. definitely wants it because when it's big items like that or a coat or, or anything heavy, um, you know, it adds on, you know, I think we, we charge you girls, I think it's like five and $10 domestically for shipping. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's consistently a, a little bit more, but, um, when you add in those big items, it gets to be exceptionally more. And so we want to make sure that it's not going to be a case of that somebody wants to, um, return it. I think we showed this last month too. Yeah. You know what? I feel like Haley requested this possibly. We'll and double check. I didn't, well, but I didn't, cause she requested a lot of stuff and I, Think different things for if you requested you this if you requested this last month request it again it's it's you know light blue really really pretty mm -hmm. maybe it might have been too big for her. maybe that was it or maybe it wasn't her i don't know it's a magenta pencil skirt a flare polka dot black and white this was shown last month wow um tan above the knee skirt and then corduroy floral. 
Actually, that's just crushed velvet. It's just crushed velvet. Yeah, it's just crushed velvet. I think this dress was shown last month, like a yellow shift dress that's juicy. It's really pretty. This is a maxi dress. It's gonna be like an extra small, small. It was dragging. This would be a pretty wedding type mm -hmm. situation. Really, really pretty. And this one I think was shown last month. It has a drop waist. <laughs> Don't forget to smile. Oh. Kind of a deep, deep colored paisley cotton longer skirt. Yeah, this right here is the corduroy. Plaid, longer. Oh, when I say longer, I just mean it, it it's going to go past your knees. Is that the... That's this, right? That's the, the person making the ad. Sarah thought we had a ghost for a solid week. Um, We have a ghost. And we caught it on camera, hanging out on the scarf wall, moving all over the place. And then it set off the alarm at 2.30 in the morning. And me, Karen, and my husband all slept through phone calls from... The, the security, security company, because we all I apparently sleep with our phones off. So I wake up at like 4.30 a.m. And, and I'm seeing all these missed calls from our security system. And I'm looking at the cameras and I can see like what looks like just like almost like a worm coming down in front of the security camera. And the more I watched it, it's like a ball of light with like a ring around it. And... And so I went back throughout and, you know, we came and nobody, there was no break in, nothing. And, um, so I go back and it started, this happened on a Tuesday. It started on the Thursday before there was nothing before that Thursday, starting on that Thursday, which FYI was the day after I brought in like a huge load of new merchandise. Okay. Um, there was a light ball that, that had a, that had a ring around it. And it moves all over because our camera picks up the whole area here. So it was on the scarf wall and it moved kind of all over, but it was somewhat, somewhat light. Um, and then on Friday, it was still moving around only it was darker. And on Saturday, it was super dark and moving around in different spots, but always kind of in that same area. On Sunday, there were two of them. And at first I was like, okay, it's definitely a refraction of light because they were going kind of in sync, like going up, going down, going up, going down. I'm watching, I'm like, okay, well, so this, this solves it. Obviously something's doing something until one of them stopped moving and the other one started coming down into the room. And then the other one backed up a little bit and then it came out and kind of met up with it. I don't know what to say. And then on Monday night is when it was so dark that it set off the friggin' security camera and it has not been back since. So sorry if we then got rid of the ghost by sending you something that was haunted. Possible. It's definitely possible. Um, there, you know, and, and also even though Karen and Joe, so a couple, hold on. It's, oh, I already showed Okay. This. So my turn. Yeah. Um, Keep on going, Sarah. So I also I want to show this shirt. Okay, this was. Um, a couple weeks ago, I was here by myself, and I was in the accessory room, and um, and I wanted to, I had like music playing in the background, so I had like some instrumental type music playing in the background doing stuff, and I'm standing kind of the accessory. I mean, our, th this house is not it's not that big, so it's not a big accessory room, and I hear clear as day a voice that sounds just like my son's go hey mom just like that i mean guys it was like i mean it was right here to the point where i was like did ryan bring the kids over and so i turn around there's nobody there 
And so I walk out into the room and I'm kind of looking around and I'm completely freaked out. And so I call Ryan and I immediately start crying. And I'm like, is Harrison okay? Because I just heard his voice and he just said, hi, mom. And Ryan's like, no, no, he's fine. He's like, he's right here with me. And so Karen and Joe randomly came over at this exact same time. Um, so Karen and Joe walk in and they're like, they see me crying. And I'm like, this is what just happened. And, um, and Karen and Joe say, oh, well, there are kids playing outside. And I feel like when stuff happens, it's weird. You know, we tell ourselves, oh, well, that makes sense. Well, okay, obviously it was just a voice traveling from a child outside. And I was perfectly fine with just like being like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Fine, that's what it is. And then this ghost thing happened. And now I'm like, no, like definitely, I feel like something strange it's it's strange and the light thing my husband who does not believe in ghosts he said this is the closest thing he's ever seen to that seems like proof of a spirit he was like i i don't have any explanation for it and karen and i came over and we were trying to recreate everything to see like what could have been moving and like looking at the cameras and trying to like make it happen we couldn't make it happen I just do. And another, like another thing that happened was in Texas, in our Texas house, um, Ryan's grandparents had dropped off this rocking horse mm -hmm. in this cradle for Harrison, my son, because we had just had Harrison. And they came to visit and um, a, a couple months later, his grandmother passed. And we had taken the rocking horse out and put it in our living room and I was in the kitchen. It was like an open concept. Type of thing. So I'm in the kitchen and then we have like the bar and then Ryan was in the living room and clear as day. Both of us heard a disembodied voice say, hi, hon, just like that. And Ryan was like, that's what my grandmother used to say. How this man doesn't believe in go. I don't, I don't know because, and I always bring that up too. When I'm like, I feel like Although, in his defense, I thought that we might have a ghost in our main home. Oh, my God. Which is, this was a this which was an ordeal. is a new build home. Guys, I was going upstairs with knives. Like, on the, on the raccoons. On the raccoons. Right? Totally turned out, this was the raccoons? Turned out to be raccoons. Turns out we had raccoons in our attic. But I kept on hearing things upstairs. Like, I was like, somebody's walking upstairs. It was the raccoon hanging out because it's getting chilly um and then I feel kind of bad because they told us they were like well we can trap it you want us to trap it and we were like no we just we just want you to get it out like it's not you know it's fine it's fine and then like a week later it was on our neighbor's roof and they were having to get rid of it because it had crawled into our neighbor's attic so I think that they probably trapped it and got rid of it but anyways my whole point is that yes I do believe in ghosts. I do believe it was a spirit. I do believe that some disembodied child voice said, hi, mom. I don't like thinking, I don't like thinking of that. The as fact a child. that it sounded like Harrison almost makes me think it's just like some sort of a blip in time. You know, I don't know. These are pants, guys. Pants. We rarely get in pants that are in good condition. Yeah. These are beautiful wool. Um, um, and then we got some jeans. These are seven jeans. So do you yeah. count 90s, early 2000s? Sure. Well, I just got those because those can get expensive sometimes. Yeah. And I was but like, the and these were actually color. new. We actually, I still wash them, but they have the tags on. Mm -hmm. The gray color. And then we got some gray Levi's. Um, and that's just these are, wasted, uh, yeah. these, these were, were these cut? No, no. Yeah. No, they're, they're just like capris. They're capris. really pretty pink dress if you guys have any fun ghost stories you can share oh, them i would love to hear your ghost stories if um yeah um i'm trying to think about the easy like i guess they would just tell us yeah like comments. comment down there i wish that you guys could leave video comments like I, wish... I was thinking that on the closet clean out last night like i so wanted to like i almost wish that we could do like do you know what Ryan said? Ryan was like, y'all should do like a Zoom um, Christmas happy hour and everybody gets to wear like their sparkliest yeah. um, outfit. Did I say this to you? No. And Ryan was talking to me about it. Who was I talking about this? I don't know I don't if know. it was in reference to... Maybe I was talking to Joe about it. 
But yeah, that would be. Oh no, I did. That would be fun. because remember uh, um, when we were talking about the cocktail box. Well, uh, no, well, I wrote I said, that to you, like, before. Like, that's in the email that I wrote to you about it. Oh. But, yeah, no, yeah. but no, Ryan was saying, no, because he, no, he brought that up way before, and then when we were talking about the the cocktail stuff, hey, he was like, have a yeah. cocktail hour? I think that'd be fun. A Zoom cocktail hour? Yeah, so that we can actually, like, see everybody, and everybody gets, like, super shiny yeah. and dressed up, and it's like a Christmas type situation. Oh, we can do, like, raffles or prizes yes. and stuff for, like, I don't know. Best best sweater or like funniest joke or like you know best Christmas decor. Yeah, I don't know, like lots of stuff. There's lots of that's fun. Lots of fun things we can send out little little presents. That's yeah, how many people can go on a Zoom call? A lot. Yeah. We need to get a Zoom profile then because there's a forty minute limit. What do you mean forty minutes? You can only talk for forty minutes and then it shuts you off. So you have to pay for like a subscription. What if I just logged on with the kids Zoom? Do you have an account though? They have an account through Florida virtual school. I don't know enough Cheat about it. Cheat the system. No, I don't know enough about it either. Yeah, because I feel like Sarah and I, since we're the only ones that, that you know, I mean, we've got Sydney, but we don't need to, like, have a con like have conference calls with Sydney. So I feel like I'm so out of touch with all of that. Like, when I quit my, my job up in New York, like, so you know, it was that kind of stuff. and And now I'm like, why don't Ryan, we even really I know how Zoom works. There's Ryan no might be, Ryan actually might have one. He probably use. does. Joe does, I think, as well. So it might. So I might just have to change his name. But guys, that would be so much fun. Yeah, that'd be a good. Sarah time. and I are gonna brainstorm and figure out a night that works best. Um, because we should do it at like if one you're of our interested, houses. If you're interested, we'll um, well, you know what we'll do. If you're if you're a current subscriber, and you're in the Facebook group. We'll make a Facebook poll. Yeah, and we'll put it in the Facebook group because. About, you know, like, obviously which... we'd want it to be current subscribers who are on the, yeah. the Zoom happy hour. So we'll just put it in the Facebook group and we'll do a, a thing. And, you know, we can't guarantee that, you know, it'll be good to go. We'll have to do it at my house because my tolerance level is, like, really low. So. Yeah. And maybe, we'll, well, should we say, do you guys, you know, is is a happy hour better or is, like, a brunch time better? I don't know. I don't know. I don't like day drinking just because it. Yeah, it, ru it ruins my whole day. Yeah. Um, oh my god, how fun! And also, I'm not knocking anybody who day drinks. I did it a lot when lockdown first started. But I I've mean, learned that it ruins my whole day. Yeah. It's our, our And then I also end up eating like an entire bag of chips. Yeah. Disgusting. So we used to, so during lockdown, when we got really into Animal Crossing, which kind of like fell by the wayside, because if you remember, we all were like, hey, who's a, who here plays Animal Crossing? Because we play Animal Crossing. Let's play Animal Crossing together. Um, I still play. Juliet has a whole Christmas Which maybe thing. we should, because this was prior to the Facebook group. So maybe I'll make a Facebook post about this. But um uh, uh, Joe and I would go over to, so these are, um, Lee quintessential mom jeans. If you, if you, you know, yeah. um, so, um, Joe and I would go over to Sarah and Ryan's and they'd get like a huge cheese board and Joe would bring over like stuff for, you know, drinks and cocktails. Mm -hmm. And then we would just like hang out. These are more wool. These are green. Like, oh, you can see that on there. Okay. Um, and then we just like have cocktails and play Animal and Crossing just from like eleven to like five. five. <laughs> so I guess like, actually our day wasn't because we would just be playing video games. We would. It was fun. It was fun. Better than going out and getting the COVID. Yeah, the COVID. Oh. Talking to mom oh, about it too. Did you hear that we're wearing masks at Christmas? Okay, I mean, I'm it. fine with she that. She said that she's giving us all masks. She said, we have some for you. Oh, oh, so they're, so what she's probably doing is giving us, like, personalized masks. Probably. So we're very excited because our parents, you know, always host Christmas. And we were a little, you know, sad this year to have the possibility of not being able to go over there. But my parents have um, made their house a, uh, you know, a safe zone, I suppose. Like they've got all of these procedures in place of like, well, and we have to stay like outside on the, on the lanai. lanai. Um, they have a pool. So the kids just kind of go swimming. Although again, well, not this, no, it'll be too cold. Well, it will be too cold then, but it's just, it's still funny because they really do have like a, we have to go to like a designated bathroom. We can't go through different parts of the house, but my dad will like go over to Juliet who is not good at social distancing. 
and and you know he'll be like okay Juliet so you need to stay away but like you're Juliet I'm like okay Juliet so you need to stay away but you know let me let me show you this right here if you just get right off here, of me get off right of here. me I don't like being touched and, and that is that is Juliet <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, that was just you? That, that, that was just me. Oh. <laughs> but it's so, it's funny because it's almost like, it's like they kind of forget, and my mom's not as, she's not as um, nervous as my dad, and so it's like her and I will sit there and we'll be like looking, and we're just kind of like, I mean, I don't know what to say. What I think it is, um, is that, which we could just ask dad, but, but you know. He, um, I think it's that he doesn't want anyone in like the living room and the kitchen, like touching things because then it's like, oh, well now we've got to like clean everything because they are sanitizing absolutely everything after we leave. Oh. So it, it minimizes I the amount of like cleaning that they have to do. I spend like $70 on Mexican food to bring oh. it over to them for my whole family and, and my parents. And then we got like extra and he took everything out of the to-go container and he microwaved it all for like 10 minutes and it was absolutely disgusting. And I had to talk to them about that. that I'm not gonna bring you food yeah. because I can't eat it because it's gross. So normally what we, so our Christmas tradition Everybody since we were kids is that um, we uh, take all the presents. So when we would wake up as kids, Santa would have, these are shorts. These are um, creamsicle colored shorts. Um, you know, we come downstairs and there'd be a pile of gifts um, out in the open that were from Santa. And then, and then these are cool, like cool ones. Um, and then we had gifts under the tree from family. And, um, and so then when it came time to open those gifts, you know, we would all go around and, and, you know, give everybody their, their, their gifts and piles and stuff. And it takes a while because we were a family of six. And, well, and now it's to even, do it like one at a time. And then we open up the gifts one at a one time. One at a time. Watch I mean, it's like each other hours. open the gifts. And then the first Christmas I spent with Ryan, they like separate the presents and then they're like, go. And like everybody opens them at the same time. And it like completely threw me off. So I was like, Joe. what? And he still makes fun of me because I have to like clean up as we're going. And he's like, that's not how you do it. And I'm like, you're going to lose all your stuff. Yeah. yeah. And so it's funny what our mom has said for this year. She's like, all of the presents will be in your designated piles. Each of you will have assigned seats. Um, and then instead of us taking, you know, the time to go around the circle, everyone's going to open up their gifts at the same time. Um, just to like reduce the amount of time that, you know, the house, you know, has people in it. And I'm like, okay, you know, that's great. And, you know, yes, it makes me sad, but I also understand like what's happening, but it's still like, I kind of prefer it. Wow. You know, I wonder how this is going to be because I, it, cause, and, and granted when our parents are opening up the gifts from them, you know, or from us, Dad, mom, gonna... like 30 presents and they're like silly things. It's like, Oh, I yeah. found this, you know, and coffee granted, cup with a cow on it and it's like okay i mean sierra know. opens up her gifts from her family joe and i open up our gifts separately so it's really just like yeah i asked my mom for some you know a brooch from etsy um who really cares about watching me open like nobody cares about me opening this like okay. sarah but like clifton like doesn't care see. meredith doesn't care like like you know nobody cares about that you know silly stuff like there's a gift that i know my mom got for joe that it's gonna be like nobody cares if he open like if they watch him open this they're going to be thinking, I want to open my gift. So, but anyway, it's going to be. Do you know what a good gift is for somebody who has everything? And I've gotten this from my father, I think twice, is on eBay. They have like mystery <gasps> boxes and you can just pay. It's like 25, 50. I think I got, mm -hmm. him, I think I got him like the $100 one or the $200 it one. Was cool. it, was, it was big, but it is literally like somebody who's like a couponer. Like he got like socks. And like sunglasses and like some sort of like, um, like car models. Like it's literally like just a smorgasbord of stuff, but it's fun because you tell them what it is. You're like, this is literally like just somebody who's like, Hey, I'm cleaning out my garage or somebody who, I don't know, they order a ton of stuff off of Amazon uh -huh. and this is the stuff that like hasn't sold. Um, but it was a lot of stuff that you get in like boutique shops, like, like the company that makes the really interesting, um, pool floats. There were, oh, he did get some pool stuff. Like, yeah. yeah, it was like a bunch of that, that stuff. And so. so the guy that I ordered from, he did say, he was like, do you, why don't you tell me like a couple things about him? And so I said, he's in the military and they have a pool. And so, so that was nice. It was fun watching him open that. Yeah. He Maybe liked that's it. that's what I'll do again this year. Yeah. 
I got nothing. I'm doing because their their combined gift, my mom and dad. So you know, they Sarah and I got my mom a puppy, and I'm and I and I'm doing that like regal photo, you know. So Maggie Mae is gonna have like you know the crown and that. Yeah. I told Sarah that I wanted to do that. I feel like mom's irritated at me because. You said you're taking the dog. So, well, because what I said, yeah, I'm done. Okay. Um, so she's having a hard time training Maggie. Now I have two dogs and, and then I had another dog too, my sweet Alexander Marco, who passed away when we moved here. He was such a good and, dog. And uh, this is how we ended up with two more dogs though, because one just wasn't enough to, um, to take his little, his sweet little, um, spot. So, um, and so she's, you know, she's she keeps on asking for advice. And I'm kind of like. I mean, they, my dogs, my first dog, Alex, was just, I got him in college and he just came with me. Although, honestly, he will probably call again, but we'll see. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to, um, uh, my son just called. He's probably like, I'm done with my homer. I had a sitter there. I have a sitter there two days a week. Um, so. Speaking of dogs. I know. And so, um, so she's having trouble training sweet Maggie. And, um, and with my, with my current two dogs, we, we did crate training. And, um, and I never, you know, I never, anybody who ever had said, oh, you don't crate train Alex, my first dog. I was like, no, I was like, that's inhumane. And, oh, he sleeps with me and he goes everywhere There's with me. There's a small me. stain right here. Just, you know, it was we just tried getting um, it out, but that, you know, still great. It was just like a totally different relationship with, um, with Alex and I have with Gaston and Greta. But Gaston and Greta love their crates. Like they just, Greta goes in there in general, just like if she's going to take a nap, she'll like wander into her crate. And, um, and do that. And so I came on telling me you need to crate train, but I think my dad is having a hard time leaving Maggie in the crate. Mm -hmm. So she was just going to the bathroom everywhere. And, um, and so I told her, I was like, if you want, we can do like boot camp. Like I'll keep her for a week and my dogs can kind of help train her. But then within the last couple days, Maggie hasn't had any accidents. And I told her, I was like, you don't want me to take her if she's doing well, because that's going to get her out of her routine. And I feel like now she's, she's like, Mom oh no, it's fine. It's fine. I think she just wanted a break. I think it's like, you know, having a dog, it's like having a child, you know, it's, it's, it, 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 sometimes you just need a break, but Maggie's getting fixed on Monday. And so taking her is just, I mean, I, I don't mind taking her in a couple weeks maybe, but that won't really, you know, it won't be to, to train. She's a good dog. She is. She and is. I, we wish that she's our dad so was a little bit more, um, less of a pushover when it comes to the puppies to puppies and children he will definitely we i mean i i want to say we got pretty spoiled as kids oh see i feel dad. like you no i was scared of dad <laughs> you were dad's favorite though. i was the baby i was all right i was not i was we did not we get along better now because i gave him grandbabies thank god for that yeah, you gave him Juliet. I know he's replaced I, me. I'm not kidding. I like we we did. I think he just thought I was weird. I was like the weird theater kid who he didn't, he couldn't relate to. Yeah, he couldn't relate to me because I remember we were when mom got sick in Germany, and how um, he I was I was saying how I wanted to leave to like go shopping or something, and he was like, "You need to stay here for whatever reason. Your mother loves having you around. You need to stay." And I was like. Okay. <laughs> Let it be known safe. that our mom is okay. She's okay, but okay. she was she had a, a a scare in Germany for several several months. Yeah, and we know that our dad was like also super. Yeah. No, I mean we have we have like a great relationship super, now, but you know worried 100%, about her. Percent after I got married and had kids, our relation it, it changed. Yeah. It's like I I had I had done something now that, <laughs> that he could. Be well, I proud loved of. you before you had children. Thank you. Yeah. I think I loved you a little bit more before you had children because then it was like we were more the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Those kids have made my life what it is. They're fun. We wouldn't have Redbird if I'd never gotten married and had kids. Yeah. I would probably just still be working in uh, retail. I know. Yeah. Yeah. It's just amazing the way the way life the way life pulls you. Yeah. yeah, I'd probably still be up in New York. Maybe. Actually, know. you know what? I guess if I guess I probably wouldn't be living in Florida either if I hadn't married Ryan. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah. I'd be in New York. Yeah, or L.A. Oh, or even Texas. No, because I didn't like L.A. Maybe t maybe Texas. No, I tried L.A. And wasn't a fan. Yeah. But you tried it, and that's what's important. 
And I remember I was in college when Sarah lived in LA and I was working at this place called Hub City Brewery in Lubbock, Texas. And it's no longer there anymore, I don't think. Oh, um, really? Yeah, I think it became something no. else. I think it might still be a brewery, but it's no longer Hub City Brewery. But um, Monday nights, we would have like dollar beers or something like that. And so Monday nights were like the night, you know, every, you know, it wasn't a huge town, but, you know, each bar would have like their own kind of night and Monday nights were our bar. And, um, and holy cow, the amount of cash that I would take home those nights. I mean, as a college student, I was like, cha-ching. And then Sarah one day was like, hey, do you want to come out to LA and visit me? And I was like, yeah, it's like Tuesday morning. And I'm like, yeah, I just made my plane ticket last night. So let me go ahead and buy this. And then it was like the next weekend I was out in LA. It was really cool. I was so, I remember being so nervous because like also I want to say the Hills had just, you know, on MTV had just come out. And I was like, <gasps> like, I'm not like, I'm nothing like these LA girls. Like everyone's going to know. And it was so exciting. And I remember we went to Rodeo Drive. They did now. She made a <laughs> as soon And I was like, what day here? This one pretty woman? This pretty woman? <laughs> now I want to go back to LA and just do that. I just be like, oh yeah. man, pretty woman? But just be like, pretty woman? Although I'm pretty sure woman? all locked down right now. You might never pretty get woman? back there again. Well, and I feel like we didn't get to see, I, well, I didn't get to see as much as I wanted to. I mean, I was only there for a weekend. But it was fun. I had a good time. Yeah. You know, we got to see the majority of, I guess you showed me the majority of the sites. We got to see everything that was important. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. All right. I'm so excited. I, I, oh, I love this. Everyone's going to request this blouse. It's an extra small. And then this one, you can kind of tell it just has a lot of um, pastels, short sleeves. Are you showing all the closet clean out stuff after this? Or are you doing that tomorrow? Am I, am I showing all the closet clean out stuff? Oh, it's shipping. No, oh, I was about to say yeah. we should go to lunch, but then I realized I don't have shoes oh, and I, I want to wear this yeah, and I'm I, not. Yeah, I need I to take pictures of stuff. My other outfit. I know we have pre-made boxes that still need to yeah. be put together too. It's fine. Maybe I'll just order something in. Yeah. Cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. I, I did shift for a really long time and then I switched over to Instacart because Instacart had Costco. <gasps> Stop. Take care of yourself. My Achilles heel. Ow. Because um, Instacart had Costco, and I was like, okay, well, I'm going to switch over to Instacart. What's the difference? Um, Are you still showing? No, I'm My not. turn? And um, and so, so Instacart, which I've had for about three months now, consistently there are always things really really wrong with that uh, with the stuff and i've never complained because i don't like complaining also i feel like these people have your address so like if you complain they're gonna say something but like stuff like like wrong items um just all sorts of stuff so on this last order i made it the night that we got back from the mountains and we had like no food in the house the guy forgot an entire bag of food, which was about $20 worth of food. It was like um, a cooked chicken, potato salad, coleslaw. Um, oh man, there were a couple things and oh, it was just gone. And um, and this. so and so I, um, I went in and I wrote like, hey, this is gone. And they were like, yeah, they, they were great. And they immediately were like, okay, we're gonna credit you. It's like, cool. So the next, the next afternoon, which was Sunday, afternoon oh no it would have been saturday so it would have been saturday afternoon um i went i got bagged salads and i went to go and open one and it was um completely expired like three days expired um disgusting and, and like all gross and i was like oh my gosh so i threw it away i get out the other bag salad and now this wasn't the instacart shopper's fault i open up that second bag salad and there are two huge pouches of like the ingredients you know like the dressing and crud yeah. there's no lettuce um, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> so, Where did he get his stuff from? Publix. 
And um, and so really? I mean, I I can understand. But public, and so like, I um, and so I go on Instagram and I'm like, hey, I just opened these salads. One is expired and one is defective. Like I don't even know. I mean, I was I was like, this isn't you know his fault. Like you know, I mean, he wouldn't have known that it was just these dressing packets. And so then later, uh, this that is a le evening, a leotard, yeah, by the I way, love that. guys. That's so cool. Um, and then later that evening, my husband got out the strawberries, and the strawberries were covered in mold. And um, and no. so I finally went back on, and I went to customer service, and I was like, "Hey," I was like, because they had given me credits to my account. I was like, "Hey, I would rather just have the money back." <sighs> Um, because I'm not going to use you guys anymore. I was like, I've consistently had issues, but now I feel like very nervous that he's going to retaliate somehow and murder me. This is why I hate, I hate complaining about anything. That's why people who leave like bad reviews over stupid stuff. I'm like, you're crazy yeah. because people are insane. Yeah. And, and also like, cause you know, on Facebook, they've got, you know, like rave and review groups, you know, for, for your neighborhoods and people that just like. It can get really nasty, and I and and I'm just like, guys, guys don't like, ever make a, a make a make a rant about some small business that just started. Like that's what people do here, and I swear to God, I want to just go through the computer and smack them across the face. Mm, oh, this place just opened. It's called, you know. Lucy's Cafe and the service is kind of slow. It's like the waiters just don't really know what they're doing and my eggs came out and they were cold and I didn't bother talking to a manager. I'm just angry and they should have really given me my money back. And people are like, they literally opened yesterday. Like, let them get up. What are you doing, you jerk? Yeah. If you do that, stop because everybody hates it. And now's not the time. Businesses, that too. businesses cannot be closing. Like I can understand if you find a toe in your coffee, then yeah, you gotta say something. But no, you guys, you know what? If you find a toe in your coffee, what you do is you call the manager and you say, hey, yeah. hey there manager, Um, there's a toe in my coffee. And the manager's gonna say, Oh my gosh, I am mortified. Let me comp your coffee. Here's a $30 gift certificate to come back. Give us another try. And and you let it go. Now, if the manager comes in, they're like, yeah, so just eat the toe. And then they smack you in the face. Like, write a rant, okay? Rant about that. Yeah. But otherwise... Knock it off. Understand that people have off days. I'm sure this and... is a halter dress. Just, it's just yeah. it's difficult to... Um, people have off days. Everybody does. And... You never know what someone might be going through and oh my gosh i was talking to my mom and i went into home goods a couple weeks ago and and i was i was irritated because it was hot and and i'm walking in there and i get confused the whole the whole mask thing like don't get me wrong we're all wearing our masks it's fine it's a little confusing because like, so you have to wear it to like walk into the restaurant, but then when you sit down, you take it off mm -hmm. and then, but your waiter's like right there. I, I don't know, but whatever, whatever. It doesn't matter. It is what it is. And, um, and so I'm walking into home goods and having my mask and it is like jam packed with people, like just jam packed. And, and everybody's like wearing their mask weird. And some people don't have them on and it's hot. And I started, I was talking to my mom and, um, and she was asking me, what was she asking me? I think I told you the story. She was asking you like how to like, like how to like send a and photo stop, or Like, something. oh yeah, how to take a screenshot on your phone. And, and I was like telling her, um, kind of trying to tell her how to do it. But I'm getting more and more irritated as I'm walking through and I'm realizing this is absolutely ludicrous that, that this is allowed to be open, but small businesses have to be closed and, it, it's absolutely it's it's mm -hmm. lunacy if, if if you don't think it's absolutely crazy that that we have to that, that just everything that's happening if you're not thinking this is a little weird then you need to to, to yeah, like like research like don't. think something's weird it's weird and maybe it's as simple as the government just doesn't know what they're doing maybe it's just that simple um or localities you know, just the I no. Well, sure. in North Carolina, like we went in places that nobody was wearing masks. Really? Yeah. yeah. Um. And um. And you know, we did. Oh, so this is very small, but it's yeah. Really cute. Like in our in our specific um, area in Orlando, everyone is wearing. I mean, 
Yeah, they all pretty much wear them. Yeah. Um, I mean, you just see people out, like, out outside, you know, but as long as you're, you know. But so I'm talking to my mom, and I'm, and, and I finally just snapped, and I was like, Mom! I was like, it's not that hard. I was like, you know what? I'm so sorry. I was like, I'm really stressed out right now. Let me get out of here. So I'm walking out of Home Goods. And I'm kind of just yelling into my phone that I'm like, it is absolutely ridiculous. Like people are wearing their masks weird or they're not wearing them. And why is this, why is home goods allowed to be open? This isn't, this isn't like, like what is happening? What is happening? Small business well, owners are getting arrested because they have 10 people. You can't have more than 10 people at your Thanksgiving dinner, but you can stand in line with 50 other people at home goods for an hour. No, and this isn't a rant on Home Goods. Oh no, I love Home Goods. We I love, love them. Home Goods. We're saying in general, it's everywhere. It's very confusing. Publix, Target, Walmart. If Sarah and I had gotten a brick and mortar, like we had originally we wanted for two thousand, would have had to close down. We would have had to close, and a lot of small businesses have closed down. And people, I, I, yeah. I, so we do, we just... And it does affect, and at this point, because it wasn't affecting our business at first, but at this point, like, it does, because the people who shop from us are losing their, their jobs. jobs and their income, and... And I've I, had so many people explain it to me as well in like different ways and doctors explain it to you. And there is, there like, is not one still... consistent thing about it and nobody has a good reason. You guys, and it was, it was something that I had told, um, um, uh, my, my brother-in-law and, and his girlfriend that I was saying the, the fact is either the government is lying to us and, and it's not as bad as they say, it's not as bad. And they're lying, and then that's bad. And that's, or would be absolutely like that's that's the well, that's extreme. scary. But 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 then the other no, because then the other is that they don't care about us. Because if this disease is as deadly and affecting as many people as as everybody is saying, why is anything allowed to be open? Why haven't they come out and said, "You guys, this is terrible"? Like. All these people are dying. We have to shut down, but they don't. They say all of these places can stay open. These places can stay open. Um, gyms, though, these small gyms, well, gyms. or or if you, gyms. Hold, if you hold if you hold a yoga class in your house, like, but those oh. have to. That makes it doesn't it doesn't make it doesn't this is make a sense. skirt suit. suit. It's really so, cute. Yeah. Um. This yeah. looks similar. To you that can one tell. Too. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yeah. So it's the yeah. same, but one is um I think like a six and one is a yeah. eight. Um, so I found those hidden in the back. Um, like so you can tell we've, you know, we, you know, Here's we, the we thing. like many people have so many questions and so much is, you know, confusing. And, you know, I feel like I just wish that well, one and, person would come forward and be like, I know everything. Apparently there are, um, protests going on all over the world and, uh, for, for masks and how they feel like, suit. you know, people are not being truthful with everything and that the rich are just getting richer and the people who were like in business for themselves are like losing everything. And, but, but you don't hear any of that on the news here in America. You hear nothing. All you hear is that it is our fault that this disease is so terrible. It is our fault. We can control this. If we just listen, if we just do this, you can control it. Folks, we've been wearing masks since what? How long? How long have we been wearing masks? Well, now we stayed they, home for like three months. I want to say because everything was mandatory shut down in March. Um, and then I want to say like I bought my masks in February, my first And masks the numbers just February. kept going up. Nothing we, stopped. But, yeah. Nothing stopped. Disney? Disney's been open. And there's, I'm, I need to stop. I feel like I've been talking about this a long time. You've been talking about this for like a hundred minutes. I... How is Disney open and people aren't getting sick? How are schools open? And if a kid has a fever, they'll close down the whole... I, I just... I know. It's a lot of questions and it's frustrating. And I was not as frustrated about it until I started looking at the future and finances and feeling like... Our little business. In guys. a couple it's... in a couple months, I mean, if they do another shutdown, I don't I mean, I don't I don't know. You know, so anyway, so we're coming up with different ways. But but my my advice and obviously Karen and I are not like, you know, ancient, but this is a problem that the younger generations really need to be aware of and see and 
and be able to talk about without ripping each other's heads off yeah um because because we keep seeing the divide there is such a divide and and there doesn't need to be it's not us against us and it's not us against them either if the fbi is watching this like i'm not like i don't like maybe overthrow. that's maybe that's what's in our house is that <laughs> an FBI is agent. <laughs> i'm just they're like we need to watch again like anybody again, velvet black excuse anybody me. who doesn't think that something kind of strange is happening is <sighs> is not paying attention and i feel like i might have already shown this but maybe not i don't think so i don't know i just but, you know and the kids are going back to school come january and if for whatever reason their class gets closed down that i'm prepared to just pull them out because um the option otherwise is that they have to sit in front of the computer from like 8 30 to 3 which we do, we can't do um so i would just pull them out at home school yeah. but hopefully that won't happen hopefully this vaccine will come and um i mean i think what i think what you know sarah's getting at is that we just want some consistency that it's like there's just no consistency so it's very you know no, what I don't like is well. them saying that Walmart gets to stay open, yeah, but but um, well, that's what I'm saying. But Dolly's across. Fitness Center has to close. I don't like them saying that. You know, that's wrong. It's just irritating. Yeah, and that they're arresting people for it, and the whole mandate of ten people in Thanksgiving. Oh, like, no, guys, we we live in America. Like, you can it, it, just like our parents. Like, if if we wanted to go to Thanksgiving and just wear masks the whole time. I don't care if there are 40 people in the house. If if you have on masks, how is that any different than going grocery shopping? How is it any different? I mean, it has to do with like the time that you're spent. That you're so. That you what if you say that you spend time. an hour at Thanksgiving? You come there, you eat, and you leave. It's like a restaurant. This is a romper. This is a romper. And also, I love debating and um one of the greatest compliments that a boss ever gave me was that i was very diplomatic because even though i'm talking really loud now and seem very passionate i really love hearing like all the other things like all i love like i want to be turned i want somebody to be like oh well actually sarah this is exactly why this is happening and this is happening and blah blah and then i can like see it and be like oh you know, that, that yeah. makes me feel better about everything um and and, and I mean, and I have, you know, kind of an answer for that too. You know, you, you can't close down everything or the economy will shudder. And if you closed places like, you know, Walmart and Publix and Target, it's not only those corporations closing, but it's all the people who work, that, there. Um, who work there, who work there as well. So I get it. But again, don't tell me, don't come at me saying that this disease is, is, is America's fault. This is, this is America. Like, look at you, you stupid Americans. Look at you not wearing your masks. No. It's not the 10% of people who are walking around not wearing a mask. I don't know. I mean, like, if you guys live in a city or a town and nobody's wearing masks, I don't know what to say. Everyone here is wearing masks. Like, North, where was it that we went? In North Carolina. And I was like, oh, I think we were walking into a Wendy's is what it was. And there were mm. a bunch of people who were just, like, walking in without masks. And it was, like, packed. And that might have not been North Carolina. It might have been South Carolina on the way home. But, um, yeah, I but I know because we were going to order our food in there and, um, and Ryan, my husband, who was, who was nervous about disease was like, we got to get out of here. We got to get out of here now. <laughs> and I was like, okay. So we left. Yeah. But, um, you know, but it's, it's interesting and, and it was so jarring because it's so rare. Like to not, don't, see, people to not see people wearing masks. Yeah. But I do even again, I think we talked about this before that that time that you and I and the kids and Joan Ryan all went out to breakfast and how they make a big deal about you're wearing your mask and you're walking through the restaurant and oh, and then you sit down and they're like, okay, you can remove your mask now. And our waiter has on his mask. But I was saying, don't they say that you wear the mask to protect other people? Like, why are we all taking our masks off? Because if any of us yeah. have it and we're asymptomatic, our waiter's going to get it. And so we didn't, again, so Ryan and I, we didn't go out to eat for a while because I was like, this is just silly. Well, and so if you're a server, like, we'd love to hear, you know, because we do, like, I mean, Sarah and I, we've got, we have gone out and we talk to the servers and they're and, and you know they're like hey thank you for coming yeah. out because you know we live on freaking tips and it's like yeah uh, so so if the restaurant is open we at least will go even eat outside and be like hey we're going to support our local businesses that are in our downtown yeah. area 
Oh, and that's um, another great gift for people. So like if you have like your favorite local restaurant or like a small shop in your town, like get gift cards. Cause that's yeah. what I'm asking my parent, my mom and dad for, um, because I am, Brian and I have like two little restaurants in this downtown winter garden area that we love. Mm -hmm. And I think our area in particular is super small business. Um, so I think, yeah. I think everyone around here is, is, is doing okay. But, um, yeah, yeah, we have, um, it is like our area is so incredibly supportive of one another and really tries to promote each other in many ways. So it's just, it's a great community that we live in. We might, we might actually live in a bubble of people who you know wear what? masks See, and I, I just and, think, I think that the majority of the world is great. And I think that something that happened, especially during the election, is that the things that were shown were the worst of everybody. And so all the media is showing you is the worst of absolutely everybody. And I, I don't. I refuse to say that that is what we're what, at where at this point. Is. I but like, like anything, like anybody saying, oh, we need a list of the people who voted for Trump or, oh, no, no, we need a list of the people who voted for Biden. And so we can, we can go after them and blah, blah, blah. Like, what? Are you crazy? Like, no, yeah, no that's, that's here. insane. Like yeah. that is absolutely ludicrous that, that, that we've gotten to the point where public officials are calling for lists to be made and i know i know like what is happening do, do does nobody see it happening i can't i think that we should create a sarah's rants um a spinoff real quick guys this is itty bitty like yeah. this is for i feel like that would that would fit julia a child um or like it somebody who's cute. under five feet. That might fit Haley though. She's teeny tiny. I know. What a little cutie patootie. Um. Yeah. So guys, thanks for listening. <laughs> that was a, that's a lot to digest. I mean, it's not. I feel like everyone's probably it's thinking, everyone, about, it, thinking yeah, about it or thinking about it. But it's, it's hard because you don't you don't know. You know, for a long time. Yeah, I just didn't really talk about it except for with Karen and Ryan and, and, and my family. And now I'm just kind of branching out more because I really do think that... This is... Sorry, Sarah. No, this is also fine. very petite. Yeah, that's um, like, like another thing for a, uh, child. a child, which many of you do request things for your yeah, kiddos, yeah. which is super cute. So, um, yes, if you... So I'd, I'd, even, I'd even go as far as to say that we can include this in your Marie box for a child, yeah. you know... Yeah, because both of what us have, happening? we both have, like, super far right and super far left friends, and um, and both of us are more, like, libertarian, and, like, definitely, like, like, fiscally Republican, socially liberal, and, which, honestly, guys, I feel like that's, like, 90% of America. 90% of America is, like, please don't tax me a billion dollars, but, like, let people live their lives. Like, don't be a jerk. Be nice yeah. to people. And, but somehow, because it's a two-party system, it's, like, divided. Whereas we all we all want the same stuff, but since you have to, you know, put, one or the put other. yourself in one or the other, it is just, it is unfortunate. And I do think I am just getting more upset about it as time goes on. And I can see it affecting, you know, the business. I see it affecting my kids' mentality. Um, luckily, we have a great little play group in the neighborhood who Harrison is able to play with. But Julia, she FaceTimed her her pal from last year in school. Like, mm -hmm. all the other, she has Girl Scouts tonight, yeah. which is nice. That's a nice little... <gasps> That's right. Retreat. I wish it was cookie time. We could use it right now. Um, but it is sad. And, yeah. and I don't see an end. I don't. I keep on reading conflicting things about the... Stop, like... Stop sometimes, reading. No, stop read, reading. Like, but 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 like sometimes you just gotta take a step back and breathe. And well, I do, but now I'm on a, a rant. It's yeah, fine. I'm... It's fine. So you can tell both mine and Sarah's personalities are totally because I do talk about this stuff, but not to everybody. 
<laughs> yeah. I, I like to, I like to debate it. And I honestly just don't feel like I have anyone in my life right now who I can debate it with. Because we all are it on is, same. yeah. Well, because, well, yeah, you and I share pretty much all the same views. And any views that Brian and I differ on, it's nothing like we're able to, you know, go back and forth and, and have fun with it. But, um, but yeah, I just, I just don't. I think that the mentality of if, uh, you know, if I voted for Trump, people want to come after me. If I voted for Biden, people want to come after me. If I voted for Kanye West, how could you do that? How could you throw away your vote? Like, and to not yeah. be able, to not be able to see the whole picture and to have so many people in my life who can't see the full picture, that, that's scary. It's scary. So anyways, if you guys like to debate and you want to debate anything, not even debate. Here's, like, Sarah's, just... pro here's Sarah's personal cell phone number. <laughs> it's going to be flashing. Oh my gosh. Did I tell you my shift five. account was um, hacked? Jeez, this was you, before. Like you are going through it. This was before. Well, it happened so fast. No, this this was just like a couple of nights ago. It was right before I switched back to Shift, and I got an email that said your address has been updated on Shift. If you didn't do this, let us know. So I log in, and it's this address in Brooklyn, and um, and they had already placed an order for like just milk. And then canceled it, which I think is what they do to find out if the card, because my card was still oh, active that's on there. So weird. And so I was like, "What the what?" And so I'm screenshotting, you know, and they put their phone number too. They changed my phone number, and um, and so I screenshotted all of that, and they put in a different address, and I screenshot that, and then I deleted all my cards on there. And did you um, get like a you changed your address notification? Yeah, no, that's how I knew because it came to my email. They only changed my phone number and um, and the address, and so so then because I was feeling frisky. I texted them <gasps> the screenshot and I was like, um, reporting you to the police right now. Um, you know, and, and I screenshotted the address and the phone number and then they were like, LOL. I didn't put my real address. <laughs> my son keeps calling. <laughs> and can I say that you were like, just Google? Yeah. The answer. So he was well, like a study, study guy, but this reminds me of something that I saw on TikTok. So she, so he was, so he was like, but this particular module doesn't, you know, I can't, I can't refer back to this. And Sarah goes, well, is this something that you can Google? And he was like, yeah, but I think that they would know that I got my answer off Google. And then that reminds me of a TikTok of a dad that came in to his teenage daughter and was like, you got a 32. You got a 32 on your exam. You can, yeah, like, like, what are you thinking? You can cheat. And she's like, I did. <laughs> I, and I'm like, that's exactly what I would probably be doing if I was in this situation and I was a teenager. I mean, I also like live, like I thrived off procrastination in high school and I would write like my book reports like mm. the night prior and then I'd be like, I'd be like, mom, you got to go to the library. She's like, you got to get a book. I was like, no, I got to get Cliff's notes. <laughs> like, yeah, school was she's hard. She's like, what are you? <laughs> but no, it's, you know, he has to like read a passage and then fill in like the study guide. And this consistently happens that he's not able to find certain answers on the study guide in the passage. And I can, so then I have two choices, guys. I can either go home and read this three page science thing to try to find this answer or if the question is like, you know, what mineral is a rock? I don't know. I don't know science. You know, I can just Google it and it's going to be fine. I don't have time to, to do that. So I'm not going to. But if you missed the last part of my shipped story, he texted me back or she and was just like, LOL, I didn't put the real address. Good luck. And I just didn't text back because I was like, I don't want to engage. Yeah, yeah. But, um... Wow. Yeah. The audacity of I really some do. people. I was thinking like, who thinks that that's okay? I know. And that's what breaks my heart. But I do, I mean, both Sarah and I feel like we think the average person has, is good deep down. And, but this person that stole, like, the like, person you know. who tried to, and, but you, you know, know what's so funny is that when, when I first saw that they had ordered the milk, I was like, oh my gosh, well, they can just have is it. Like it. A, is it like, like a mama obviously there, needs... blah, blah. And then when I did more research, they actually just, they order one thing to see if the credit card is good. And then they go back in. And that's what he was doing. That might actually be like, um, a good, like, I'm um, do not condone this, but checking to see the credit card and ordering formula. 
because I would immediately be like, this is, this is a mom that needs formula for her baby. Like, I'm not going to report oh. this. Do you know what I mean? Like, but I'd still probably be like, hey, um, if you, you know, I don't know. Don't steal. Guys. I mean, I still didn't report them, even though they were obviously going to go and buy a bunch of, um, other stuff. Yeah. Like Christmas candy. So I already reported my Instacart shopper and now I'm Guys. scared he's going to murder me. I really, uh, okay, we need to reach out, we need to just do a quick thing, like a, like a quick list of like all the businesses that we mentioned and be like, in no way are we. <laughs> um, no, I, if you're an Instacart shopper, then I'm not going to knock you because you're obviously not my Instacart shopper, but I must have ordered 20 times from Instacart over the last three months. Yeah. Every single time there was something wrong, every single time. And I was with ship for like a year and a half nothing was wrong and mm. then my shift order yesterday everything was perfect absolutely mm. perfect i wonder if you, um, if you have oh and then my grapes companies. also my grapes from my instacart order from like two days ago were bad i picked those out this morning to give the kids grapes i wonder breakfast. if something was going on with that particular publix if it hadn't happened publix for every also single... is like clutch yeah they well that's where i usually order my produce from but i went to target this time because i was like yeah. i wanted different things it's Man, all I'm hungry perfect. now. Know, we need to go drop off your boxes and your closet clean out stuff that um sold last night. And oh, and all the pre-made pre boxes. And all the pre-made boxes, your yeah. one-time purchases. So guys, thanks again for listening. And the fact that this is basically three different videos now <laughs> that are going to be cut. I should have put it on airplane mode. But that's okay because guys, this is us. We're human. We, you know, it's, you know, it's like we're just two gals putting together vintage boxes every single month for you and styling them and, you know, mending and washing and folding and sniffing, sniffing and fixing and murdering. Stealing. Oh my gosh. We're going to get reported. <laughs> I have pictures of the ghost thing. I think still we can, um, so can if you want, I will, um, Sarah will share those with me and I will put them in the, um facebook yeah group i didn't want to put them out in public at first just because i was nervous like ghost hunters were going to try to come and well you are also you can also politely decline having your house ghost hunted um, um you can but they can still break in i feel like sarah's seeing the bad in everybody recently you know what i think maybe i'm just in the mood now after my rant i need to go in decompress day drink and um, um get centered um okay Cool. Great. Okay. All right. So screenshot everything. Info at rivervintagebox.com. Full name if you want to be charged now. Write charge now. Um, if you are a new person and you're requesting you don't have to put charge now because we already have you in a, this person has been. Um, yes. Yeah. If you, cause you've already been charged essentially. Yeah. And um, once again, sometimes if you put charge now, or if you're a new person, your box doesn't get sent out right away simply because we know that we have like, um, the second Jenning plot is coming in today. Ooh. So, and it's huge. It's like thousands and thousands of pieces of jewelry. So, um, so Sarah that's found in. some um, amazing stuff. And then um, Sydney is, says she's sending another box on Tuesday and then we're going shopping next Thursday. And then I'm still looking for purses online. I don't know why they're so expensive lately but they are. And we have yeah. to obviously keep everything at a lower price point per item for the boxes because otherwise um, we make zero money. So, And girls gotta eat. Pay her mortgage. Yep, yep. Okay. Okay, great. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>